In this video, you'll learn what Active Directory is, how it works inside Windows Server, and why it's so important for managing users, computers, and security in large organizations. Have you ever wondered how big companies manage hundreds or even thousands of computers and users without going crazy? How do they make sure that every user has the right access and every computer follows the same rules? The answer is something called Active Directory and it's a powerful tool that runs inside Windows Server. Active Directory or AD for short is like the brain of a computer network in a business. It keeps track of all the users, computers, printers, files and even security settings. Think of it like a big contact list or a digital phone book that holds all the important information about everything on the network. Let's say you walk into a school or office and sit at any computer. You type in your username and password and like magic, your desktop appears, your files are there and your email works. That's Active Directory doing its job. It checks who you are and gives you access to everything you need and only what you are allowed to see. Hi, I am Imran Afsal. I make learning technology easy, even for beginners in IT. So I have over 25 years of experience in Linux administration, Windows, virtualization, and many more. I have taught millions of students worldwide. At the heart of Active Directory is something called the Domain Controller. This is a special server running Windows Server that holds all the AD information. When someone logs in, the Domain Controller checks their username and password to make sure they are who they say they are. If everything matches, it lets them into the network. A domain in Active Directory is like a neighborhood. All the computers, users, and devices inside the domain follow the same rules. These rules are set by IT admins who use AD to make sure everything runs smoothly and securely. If a new user joins the company, they don't have to be added to each computer one by one. Instead, the admin adds them to AD and they can use any computer in the domain. One of the coolest parts of Active Directory is how it organizes everything using a structure called the hierarchy. At the top, you have the domain. Inside the domain, there are organizational units or OUS. These are like folders that help group users or computers together. For example, you might have an OU for students, another for teachers, and one for staff. Each group can have its own settings and rules. Now let's talk about group policy, which works hand in hand with Active Directory. Group policy is like a list of instructions that tells computers and users what they can and cannot do. With just a few clicks, an admin can stop users from changing the desktop wallpaper, block certain apps, or even force password rules. And the best part? These rules can be applied to hundreds of computers at once through Active Directory. Another important part of AD is authentication and authorization. Authentication means checking if a person is really who they say they are, like typing the correct password. Authorization means checking what that person is allowed to do, like opening a file or changing a setting. Active Directory handles both of these jobs to make sure the network is safe. Active Directory also helps with security groups. These are groups of users who share the same permissions. For example, all teachers might be in one group that allows them to access gradebooks, while students are in a different group with limited access. If someone gets promoted, you can just move them to a different group and their access will change automatically. Another smart feature of AD is single sign-on. This means you log in once and you can use many services without having to type your password again and again. It saves time and helps users stay productive. In large companies, you might have more than one domain. That's where trusts come in. 
Trust allows users in one domain to access resources in another domain. This is useful when companies work together or have offices in different places. And by the way, we offer multiple services along with plenty of IT related courses. Every course of ours will be worth your time and money. Make sure to check out our website www.utclisolutions.com for further information. The link is in the description box. Let's take a real life example. Imagine a hospital with many computers and staff. Doctors need access to patient record, nurses need access to schedules, and receptionists need access to appointments. Using Active Directory, the IT team can set it up so each person sees only what they need, nothing more, nothing less. If a new doctor joins, they just create a new user in AD and that doctor is ready to work on any hospital computer. If someone leaves the company, you don't have to go to every computer and delete their account. You just disable or delete the user from AD and they lose access instantly. This keeps the network safe and under control. Active Directory also supports roaming profiles. This means a user's desktop, settings and files can follow them to any computer on the network. No matter which PC they log into, it feels like their own. This is really helpful in places like schools or labs where people use different computers every day. Active Directory is also great for centralized management. That means instead of going to every computer one by one to make changes, you can do it all from one place. Want to install a software update or change a setting? Do it once in AD and it applies to every computer in the network. That's a big time saver for IT admins. To run Active Directory, you need Windows Server. This is a special version of Windows made for big tasks like managing networks. Inside Windows Server, you install a role called Active Directory Domain Services. Once installed, your server becomes a domain controller and starts managing the network. Now let's talk about DNS or Domain Name System. It works closely with AD. DNS helps computers find each other on the network. When you log in or try to open a shared file, DNS helps point your computer to the right server. Without DNS, AD wouldn't work properly. Another useful tool in AD is LDAP or Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. This is the language computers use to talk to Active Directory. It helps with searching and finding users, groups, and devices in the directory. Active Directory can also be backed up and restored. If something goes wrong, you can bring everything back using a backup. This is super important to keep data safe in case of an accident or attack. To keep AD healthy, IT admins check logs and use monitoring tools. This helps them catch problems early and keep everything running smoothly. Whether you're logging in at school, at the office, or even at a hospital, there's a good chance Active Directory is working behind the scenes, making everything simple and secure. If you enjoyed the lesson, please give it a like and share your thoughts in the comments. My team and I have worked so hard to make learning simple for you. Thanks for watching and let's keep learning together.